Yo, what is up going on guys? It's Lewis and I'm actually a UK eBay part-time reseller. Uh, I'm super new to this and this is just a recap of my sales over the past two weeks or so. I'm not quite sure, 100%. Um, I apologise for my voice, I have been sick recently. But anyways, let's get into the video. So first off is a vintage operation, 1970s one. I picked this up in a charity shop and it was like... £1.49 uh, it was all complete everything with it uh, I may have undersold it but I got £7.95 uh, free shipping um, I picked up two Lego poly bags at 49p each uh, they were both new and sealed I uh, don't know what's going on right now they were both new and sealed I got this Star Wars one and I got a, a Chima uh, I got two ninety nine for each with free shipping. I know it's not big money, but you know, making money's profit, profits profit, whatever. Um, I got a travel Scrabble. Uh, this was one forty nine in the same charity shop. Uh, it was like nineteen fifty eight. Came with a bag and everything. Uh, it was hundred percent complete. Everything with that, even the instructions. I got seven forty nine for that. Uh, Pictionary. Uh, I didn't pay much for this, it was like one fifty or one ninety nine. Uh I sold it for seven ninety nine. It does say best offer accepted, but I didn't actually accept a best offer. Uh I'm not sure about that. So yeah. Um I'm big into gaming, so I've seen this for fifty P in the charity shop and I just picked it up. It was all working, I got five fifty for it. Can't complain. Um This was a great pickup. It was uh one forty nine in Sue Ryder charity shop. Uh, it's an electronic chess game, a Satek Kasparov. Um, I believe these are pretty bolos. This went pretty fast in like a day. Uh, I may have undersold it because it went quite fast, but I got 10.99 for that and I paid 150 for it. Obviously minus postage costs. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Golden balls. This was I think I paid up on this. Paid like 250 for this, but it was all complete. Uh, I got a tenner for that. 9.99. Minus postage, it went 280 second class Romel. Uh, this one, uh, it was kind of a fail, but kind of not. Like someone gave this to me to resell. Uh, obviously, there's not much money in it at all. It was never used. Uh, I got 2.99 and it covered the shipping, so I can't really complain with that one. It was free. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with my internet here. Uh, next, I've got some tech deck stuff which were it went for, for like five pounds plus 280 shipping paid 99p for the set in a charity shop i just took a blind shot in the dark here and yeah it's a little bit of profit there this was one of the very first ever pickups as a reseller uh, they were selling the hardback books off like two for 150 and i picked up this collection it's not the full set but it's the adult cover Harry Potter books all in great condition uh, I got £20 for these plus £5 shipping uh, yeah I was pretty happy with that, that was my first ever pick up and as soon as I heard that ka I was hooked um, this was great as well, I paid one ninety nine for this in the British Heart Foundation a friend's seen it uh, it went for thirty ninety nine free shipping uh, when I got it home it was actually still sealed inside, it had never been used which was pretty lucky uh, that were a great pickup. I've bought another one of these, which I've actually got listed right now. So let's hope that goes for roughly the same price. Um, these were a bit of a shot in the dark as well. They were 50p each in the charity shop, really good condition. Virgin Media TiVo remotes, and I sold two for 10.99. Uh, I have I've seen people pick up calculators, never seen people pick up these. So I thought, yeah, for 50p. Uh, I sold them and they went straight away like within two hours so I think I undersold those um, this Catamino retro game from the 90s never seen it before for I'll take a gamble it was uh, pretty much a pound in the charity shop I got 8 99 plus the shipping cost which were great that sold pretty fast as well um, I've got Harry Potter which was pretty good that was uh, £1.49 in the charity shop and it levitates so I got a tenner for that 
well nine pounds plus two eighty eight postage. Uh, I also got a Microsoft Sidewinder mouse. This was like two ninety nine in the charity shop, and I got a tenner for it. Great condition. I'm well into PC gaming and gaming in general, so I knew there was a bit of money in that. I know that they don't actually make these anymore. Uh, that were a nice sale. So yeah, I think there's a few other bits that I might miss, but this is just my first video to show you my sales. I am currently working on more. Um, keep looking in the charity shops. It's actually getting into car boot season, so I'm going to give that a try. Uh, shout out to all the people who've I've watched, such as uh, Ben Fitzpatrick, uh, Sean Longley, uh, Adam Robinson. Uh, He's doing a lot. Uh, Nick Hills, obviously. Steve Hicks, all those. Um, those have helped me out quite a lot just by watching their videos, knowing what to pick up and stuff. But, anyways, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll have plenty more videos up pretty soon and some hauls. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.